I wanted to show you this amazing cage that someone actually donated for the mink. Um, my god, thank you so much. It's just like a palace for him. He is enjoying it so much. Um, I just got it set up just about a few hours ago and it is just wonderful and I even have him if you look down here he's using his litter pan and uh, it's just great I, I don't know who donated it um, you can request to be anonymous <laughs> or sometimes I don't know maybe Amazon just doesn't tell me but whoever you are thank you so much just look how much fun <laughs> much fun he is having in here I kind of had to set up some lights. It still looks kind of bad because it's so dark in here, but wow, just look how awesome it is. It's got these two levels on it. I just put a lot of nice soft things for him. And then the I try to keep the only hard surface his litter pan and then everything else I've covered with different soft things. And thank you for donating the hammock. He just loves it. He was swinging in it. And then I got him this <laughs> this octopus and he actually goes in there. Hi, hon. Yeah, you definitely won the mink lottery. That is for sure. But um, I've never really kept a lot of small mammals, um, such as this cage is made for sugar gliders, chinchillas, ferrets, but... Um, so I don't know a ton about the different cage options, but if you're thinking about getting a ferret or maybe even a mink, uh, this cage has been awesome. I mean, like I said, uh, we just set it up a few hours ago, but uh, it's extremely sturdy. The bar spacing is really small, which is great for safety, and it's just very, very, very roomy. Um, I believe it's called Critter Nation. I know you can find it on Amazon, but this would be a great choice for your small pet. And he's so sweet and playful and intelligent. And this makes me so sad thinking where his entire, most of his entire family and just all the minks at that fur farm are going to end up. And I know a lot of people are asking me if I named him yet, and I just did, kind of officially. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I'm not the greatest or the fastest as far as naming things, but I named him Zodiac. Right, Zodiac? And I've put a little, I got um, a little harness for him, and I'm starting to get him used to that. But I was grateful to be able to, you know, share part of my life and my time and energy to to put into saving him. But to ever donated this cage, I mean, you've really enriched his life, you know, so much farther. Um, if you saw my other video, I had him in an extra large dog crate, which, you know, it wasn't bad, but it certainly wasn't this amazing mansion. <laughs> that he has now and he, he must be the happiest mink I think. <laughs> hey buddy. Oh, here you go. You get that bear. Get that bear. Actually I think that's a monkey. You get that monkey. But I love this octopus too, if you have a ferret or some other kind of small animal. Um, I got him on Amazon too, and uh, he, he really likes it, and I like how it's got the different arms he can go in. And also, of course, another thank you for those that donated towards um, the fund uh, to bring Sniper home a friend, because um, it was that extra money that allowed me to have uh, the fuel money to basically drive up north and, and get him. It was a, I think it was 1,600 miles round trip. And I'm sure I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos because there's just so much that I want to film and uh, to show with just everything that's been going on. So hopefully it's not too overwhelming. Whoa. Whoa, backflip. But I just wanted to give a little update on how he's been doing, which is very, very well, and, and give a big thank you to those that donated the hammock and the cage. That is just awesome. You're getting tired, little buddy. Okay, we're going to say goodnight. I was going to end this video, but look who showed up. Of course, the cubs got to check out 
in the new cage. No sugar trees here to investigate. Anytime there's anything new in the house, sugar tree comes and uh, looks at it. That's the Mara back there digging. They are ready to be moved outside. So I've been working on plans for that.